So what will happen? There will be a combination between these. So let us say the combination of shorting inputs. So I say here shorting inputs, shorting input combinations, and depending on which, what will be the output. Now if I say the shorting inputs are zero zero means both these inputs are 0 0 then definitely for this OR gate 0 or with OR the output is 0 okay but if 0 and 1 and 1 or 0 these are the pins combinations are there means 1 is 0 1 exactly what we are seeing here or it might be also this position is 1 and this is 0 so the output is particularly not defined why not defined but it will depends upon the output depends upon the source and sync capacity of 1 and 0 this is nothing but this 0 and 1 and this 0 and 1 okay and finally if the shorting inputs are 1 1 the output will be 1 okay but my point is here between these two inputs but the output can be 1 or 0 it depends upon the source and sync capability of the zeros and ones which are shorting a point is for this or gate let me draw it once again here for this particular or gate this line is coming from somewhere else this line is coming from somewhere else part of the circuits 1 and 2 okay if this pin is 1 and this is 0 and these are shorted so uh, this is 0 means definitely it is sinking the current so this will be a sink and this will be a source this is the source of voltage and this will be if they are shorted now we are considering only shorted and if the source is more higher than the sink then definitely the shorting effect will take as 1 and the output will be 1 okay let me write it down more elaborately if if source is greater than sync then output is equal to 1 this is the first point and the second point if source is less than sync then sync is more it can sync more current that is available and these are shorted then definitely output will be equal to 0 because all the current coming at this point will be synced in the second way so output will be zero so this is the elaboration for these two inputs particularly this depends upon the source and sync capacity of the one and zeros this you can also go through the session of uh, ttl to cmos interface or cmos to ttl interface in which we have to adjust the uh, high state and the low states of the both of the logic families to drive each other okay the same thing is there in which to avoid this we are you going to use the pull up registers or the pull down registers to handle this kind of faults okay tactical example if i want to give you in this type of fault model i can suggest you to check out the ttl logic circuit okay now it is very important if you are going to perform the teacher ttl logic circuits that is nothing but our normal logic circuits means when you are going to perform the practicals on the uh, basic gates so all the basic gates are let me say the seven four series ICs which is comprised of AND OR NOT NAND gate these are all gates in seven four series are made up of TTL logic now if the TTL logic it will connect pin number 14 to VCC and 7 to ground if you will activate the IC if the pins are not connected they behave like logic 1 so if pins are not connected that is NC if suppose you are performing an AND gate testing in which AND gate input 1 and 2 it is not connected then these inputs will behave like 1 that is logic 1 so you can say that that is nothing but inputs are stuck at 1 so you have compulsory you have to apply zero logic and one logic there otherwise the pins will be showing logic high state even if you don't connect any input and if you check the output output is also stuck at one so what is stuck at one stuck at zero you can easily monitor there in your practicals uh, while performing the detail logic circuits okay so in particular the detail family this happens 
so that's all about the fall models stuck at zero and stuck at one moving on to next session we are going to see the state test pattern generation and the fault detection for the digital circuits and for more videos and ideas stay tuned to in five minutes and thank you for watching this video